hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 10 assignment of the course introduction to machine learning guys for the past five years we have been providing solutions for various nptl courses with that experience we are providing solutions for this assignment as well so these are completely our probable solutions if there are any changes that come to our notice definitely we will update that in the comment section so please check before submission and you can suggest your solutions as well so let's see the first question so do watch the video till the end guys if i make any changes in between the video you can be able to note that first one the pairwise distance between six points is given below which of the options show the hierarchy of clusters created by single link clustering algorithm so for first question second option is the probable solution guys so mark second option Yes, if you are new to our channel or if you got benefited through our channel, definitely subscribe our channel forever guys and do like the video. If you like the video, our videos will reach further more number of students so that they will also get benefited like you and please share this video with your friends and classmates so that they will also be able to access our videos. It will help your friends and classmates, right? So please share this news with your friends and classmates in your WhatsApp college unofficial groups. So second question. For the pairwise distance matrix given in the previous question, which of the following shows the hierarchy of clusters created by the complete link clustering algorithm? So for second question, also it is second option guys. So mark option second, second one, second option, option two, right? Next, third question. In BIRCH, Using number of points n, sum of points sum and sum of square points s. So these are indicated by these short letters. We can determine the centroid and radius of combination of any two clusters, right? A and B. How you determine the radius of the combined cluster? So this is the radius formula. So what is the final radius formula using the above short notations? So for third question. Third option is the probable solution, guys. So, mark third option. Moving on to the fourth one. Guys, I want to thank each and everyone for your support till now. So, I wish this will continue forever as well, right? So, fourth question. Statement one. Cure is robust to outliers. And second option, big, uh, second statement. Because of multiplicative shrinkage, the effect of outliers is dampened. So for fourth question, first option is the probable solution, guys. Statement one is true. Statement two is true. Statement two is the correct reason for statement one. So mark option first one, first option. Next, moving on to the fifth one. So they have given a web page loaded with MNIST dataset. MNIST dataset. So set seed equal to 42 for NumPy, right? So based on this data set, we'll have the below questions. So let's see the fifth question. So run K means on the input input features features of the MNIST data set using the following initialization. So K means n clusters equal to 10, random state equal to seed. So what is the accuracy of resulting labels? So for fifth question, Option A is the probable solution. I mean the first option guys. So mark. First option 0 0.790 is the probable solution. Next moving on to the sixth question now. So before getting into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs for the course introduction to machine learning. With five years of NPTEL experience, we have collected past NPTEL assignment MCQs. You are going to get a huge number of 600 plus MCQs. 600 plus MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So for one to five persons, combinedly, the price is just 500 rupees only. So please share this news with your friends and classmates. This is the mail ID to, to get the pack if you want to confirm to purchase. 
bk1794178 at the rate gmail.com. So already many students, hundreds of students and professors are also taking our packages. Professors and associate professors and assistant professors have also taken our various packs, including machine learning. So huge number of 600 plus past NPTEL assignment MCQs along with explanations provided for many questions along with the detailed explanations. So up to five persons can use the same PDF. 500 rupees guys. So 600 plus MCQs you will get in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So bk179417 at the rate gmail.com. Already many students and professors have started and taken the package. So take it now itself so that you can get more time to prepare at the end. So don't get hurried at the end. So take it now itself and get more time to prepare. Relax, relax, right? So explanations also provided for many questions. Access valid till the exam results day, guys. Search option is provided and high syllabus will be covered within less time. So that makes it easy to revise as well. So up to five, if one person takes that, up to five persons, including that single person. The price is 500 rupees for each and every one, guys. So 600 plus MCQs available in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. This, this is the mail ID. pk179417 at the rate gmail.com. So that's it guys. So please share this news within your WhatsApp groups and official student groups and spread this news. So make some, create some awareness on this so that more students will be get to able to form the form groups and get for less price individually. So if one person takes up to five members can use that, including that person. So that's it guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. So sixth question for the same clusters obtained in previous question, calculate the RAND index. The formula for RAND index is given uh, index is given below. So for sixth question, fourth option 0 0.933 is the probable solution. Next seventh one. So how then how then are RAND index and accuracy from the previous two questions related? So for seventh question, none of the above is the probable solution. Next ninth one, run BARCH on input features of MNIST dataset using BARCH of n clusters is 10, threshold is 1. What is the RAND index obtained? So for eighth question, second option 0 0.96 is the probable solution guys. Moving on to the final question that is ninth question. What are their respective number of outliers or noise points detected by DB scan? So for ninth and final question, fourth option, 1797, 1742 is the probable option. So friends, these are the most probable solutions for week 10 assignment of the course introduction to machine learning. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, definitely subscribe our channel forever. Definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates. And don't forget to purchase this huge number of 600 plus MCQs Google Drive PDF restricted link pack. 600 MCQs for one person or for one to five persons group, the price is 500 rupees case. So this is the mail ID bk179417 at the red gmail.com. Access will be valid till the exam results day. So explanations will also be provided. So such option is also provided guys, easy to revise and high syllabus will be covered. So that's it guys for this video. So keep supporting us like this forever. So until the next bye, thank you.